Hello dear friend, in this video we will talk a little about the Titanoboa, the giant snake, from the Paleocene epoch. Welcome to Dinopedia your dinosaurs channel. Let's start the journey at the prehistoric age. This channel is not restricted to just dinosaurs, but to all the fantastic creatures of prehistory, and the events that influenced these beings. Warning! If you are off idiophobic, know that this video contains scenes with gigantic snakes. Important notice. Titanoboa is a reptile, but it is not a dinosaur, this animal is a snake. The Titanoboa and dinosaurs do not coexist, Titanoboa came right 5 million years after the dinosaurs' paleogene mass extinction, and ruled the earth for at least 10 million years. What is its name? The name of this gargantua snake is, Titanoboa serogenensis, the name Titanoboa means, Titanic boa. The species epithet, serogenensis, refers to the Serajon coal mine, and the Serajon formation, in which the fossils have been found. What is its size? They could grow up to 13 meters, 42 feet long, and reach a weight of 1,135 kilograms, 2,500 pounds, that is twice, as heavy as a polar bear. It had about 1 meter, 3 feet in diameter. What did it look like? Titanoboa was very similar to modern snakes, the major difference is its enormous size. There is a theory, that says that, the snake had brown skin, which camouflaged it perfectly in the humid jungle. What did it eat? Titanoboa was a carnivorous reptile. Its diet includes giant crocodiles, giant fishes, less powerful snakes, maybe some careless animals around the shallows. Titanoboa was probably able to devour large prey. Giant turtles are still object of discussion. Some say that, hard-shelled turtles, this snake could not consume. Where did it live? Fossils of Titanoboa serogenensis were found in the Serajon coal mine, and the Serajon formation in northern Colombia, in tropical South America. Nowadays this is located at southeast of the department of La Guajira. The age of the rocks that they were found in, is about 58 million years old, and what was really exciting about the coal mine initially, was that, it preserved the ancient remnants of a rainforest. When did it live? This animal date to around 58 to 60 million years ago. The giant snake lived during the middle to late Paleocene epoch. About 5 million years after the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event, and ruled the earth for about 10 million years. How did it behave? Many traces suggest that Titanoboa was on top of the food chain, and spent most of the time ambushing prey and not worrying about running from predators. It lurked in the shallows and ambushed unsuspecting animals. Titanoboa can be very fast in the water, but don't think that it was slow on the ground, run away from this animal, is not so easy like it seems to be. The Titanoboa's main weapon was its massive weight, body surface area and the power of its constriction. It crushed its prey with a force of 400 kilograms per square inch which is equivalent to 28 tons per square meter. This is equivalent to being squeezed by the weight of three Eiffel Towers. In order to eat its prey whole, Titanoboa had jaw bones that snapped apart, and flexible ligaments, for opening its mouth almost 180 degrees. It means that the maxillar is not connected by bones, they are connected by flexible tendons. Modern snakes can use its tongue to help it smell. It flicks its long and forked tongue, to pick up chemical molecules from the air, ground, or water. The tongue carries the smelly molecules back to two small openings, in the roof of the snake's mouth, where they're analyzed. Think about, if Titanoboa also had this ability, how dangerous a giant snake like that could be. After eating a large prey, Titanoboa could go for a year without eating, as many modern-day snakes can do similarly, with their rodents and such. How was it discovered? In 2009, the fossils of 28 individuals of Titanoboa serogenensis were found, in the Serajon formation of the coal mines of Serajon in La Guajira, Colombia. Before this discovery, few fossils of Paleocene epic vertebrates, had been found, in ancient tropical environments of South America. The snake was discovered on an expedition, by a team of international scientists, led by Jonathan Block, a University of Florida vertebrate paleontologist, and Carlos Jaramillo, a paleobotanist from the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute, in Panama. Additional information. A scientifically accurate life-size replica, of Titanoboa, the biggest snake to have ever roamed the earth, 
is on display at the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. The Titanoboa was the largest snake ever discovered and recorded. There are strong indications that this fact is related to the temperature of the habitat where he lived at the time. When mating, the females gave off a strong smell in the air, which made the males furious and aloof. In addition, she could have up to 80 chicks, that is, lay a few eggs at once. In a partial analysis of this skull, paleontologists stated that this snake had fine and sharp teeth, more compatible with an aquatic diet, that is, the monstrous creature in South America, fed mainly on large fish, turtles, and crocodiles. She had infrared eyes, capable of seeing her victims from miles away. Her attack could reach almost three meters away. Like most large snakes, she had no poison, and her weight did not prevent her from being fast, managing to crawl kilometers without being noticed. A speculative documentary, made by the Smithsonian Entertainment Channel, shows how a fight between the two biggest predators on Earth would be Tyrannosaurus rex and Titanoboa. Although these animals did not occupy the same places or the same time, researchers traced virtually what a fight would be between them. In conclusion, it was believed that the victory would depend on the external context in which this fight would take place. On land, it was argued that the T Rex would stand out, having an advantage in the time of snapping the snake, since it has, until today, a stronger bite. On the other hand, if the dispute took place close to the coasts and marine environments, the Titanoboa would probably stand out, using its strangulation tactic to grab the dinosaur with its phenomenal constriction force. The first to launch the deadly and fatal attack, it is also a decisive factor in this colossal dispute, regardless of the environment in which they are. What is not yet known about it? It is still not entirely clear what led to the extinction of this snake. But the temperature change probably played a key role in that. Not to mention that, with the decline of tropical forests, it made hunting more difficult, which may have led to the disappearance of such a large animal. Titanoboa and the Media Titanoboa Monster Snake is a 2012 documentary film produced by the Smithsonian Institution. The documentary treats Titanoboa, the largest snake ever found. Fossils of the snake were uncovered from the Sarajan Formation at Sarajan Coal Mine, the 10th biggest coal mine in the world, in the Cesar Rancheria Basin of La Guajira, northern Colombia, covering an area larger than Washington, D.C. Reptile Data Scientific Classification Kingdom Animalia Phylum Chordata, subphylum, vertebrata, class, reptilia, order, schemata, suborder, snakes, family, boidi, subfamily, boini, genre, titanoboa, species, titanoboa serogenensis, binomial name, titanoboa serogenensis, what do you think of stumbling on a snake of this size, leave your comment. If you are watching the video until now, don't forget to like it, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.